So you join me and we're a fair way into practice, sorry, qualifying session two. Uh, at that end of the room, the lights are already out and there's only a few, this third, that's still fully illuminated. And here's the jeopardy. All drivers have to run in the dark. But now I think you can see the vehicle illuminations are really coming into their own. The visibility of some of the cars is distinctly better than some of the others. I'll make sure I catch a little more when the lights go out but it is unlikely that the pace will increase at all when that happens so I'll quickly take you over to the uh, timing screen and we'll get a little synopsis of what's happening <clears throat> and surprise surprise the track's improving, the lap times are getting quicker. We're at 14 and a halves, 14 eights, 14 nines. There were no cars under 15 seconds in the practice sessions, okay, were but, there? Uh, uh, did you see what I drove? Did I do? No. no okay. Were you driving just now? Yeah, just now. I know this is what uh, Mark, Stefan did. Because okay. when I last looked, you were there. So, yeah, what we got? 14 six to 15 six. One, two, three, four, five, six cars in a second. Those LMP2s are doing really well to be at 15 and a half to 15.7. That's an outstanding performance from North Staffs as far as I'm concerned. That's a cracking piece of qualifying. So we've got 25 minutes remaining. I'll try and get some footage in the dark. There's about 13 minutes of this second qualifying session remaining and um, we're in the dark folks. This is good experience if you've never done this. Oh man, what a challenge. There's times when you sit on that podium and you're looking at three cars going up that main straight and you're catching one and you're taking a yard out of it or something and you don't know what lane it's in. You think to yourself, am I going to run straight into the back of it, or can I safely pass? Same in these areas too, it's, um, it's not lit everywhere, as you can see. This is when it becomes really, really beneficial to have one of these marker lights in your car. So that not only have you got headlights and taillights, but you've also got something that identifies the car. Now, if you're at all intrigued as to why some of the cars have white headlights and some of them have amber-coloured headlights, there is a reason. And this replicates the full-size race insofar as the GT cars have amber head headlights and the LMP cars have whites. And that's, that's replicated here. More than one car with a green LED in it this year. That's at least two, possibly three I've seen. Yeah, there's three doing laps right now with a green LED in it. I think a couple of years ago everyone was running a blue one. <laughs> like that car there. Yes, it looks like green is going to be this year's colour of choice. 
So let's go back to the timing. Look at that, we've now got, we've now got two GT cars. And we've got our first lap time under 14 seconds, 13.96, if that's to be believed. In fact, it was the last lap. Oh, that's been deleted. We've still got a 14.15. And from North Staff, that's absolutely outstanding. 14.6, 14.18. Fifteen four. So we've got all the LMP cars near the front, then the LMP twos, and then the GTs, except for that outlier and that one. Now I believe that some of these teams are asking for their current qualifying laps to be deleted because they are switching chassis and still changing from one to the other. Now in about 13 minutes time the cars will go into Park Ferme which means that the track power will stop, the cars will be collected by the race directors and then they will be, I don't want to use the word confiscated but they won't be allowed to go back into the paddock, the teams won't be able to do any work on their cars overnight, they'll be uh, tech inspected and when they return in the morning they'll either get to keep that lap time that they've got on that scoreboard right now or it will be eradicated and then they'll have to make their cars legal in the areas that they've been pulled up or failed and then they'll have to use the last qualifying session tomorrow morning to set their fastest lap time If anybody's got any questions about what they're seeing in my uh, footage or was anything in particular that they'd like to see then please feel free to make a comment underneath the videos and if I see uh, that comment in time I will endeavour to answer your questions so uh, I'm inviting uh, some uh, feedback and some engagement and hopefully uh, tomorrow I'll be able to answer some questions for you. And for tonight, I think that's all I'm going to be able to capture. Proceedings are coming to an end. And let's see what happens tomorrow.